What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. Today's video is a really exciting one because I am yet again going to be putting my artistic skills to the test and I'm going to be customizing three different denim jackets. Now, if you guys haven't seen a video that I did maybe two months ago now, at the beginning of lockdown, I basically customized three different pairs of shoes that I actually gave away to three of you guys watching. And honestly, I enjoyed doing that video so much because I managed to put two of my biggest loves together, obviously YouTube and also art. So if you guys haven't seen that video, I really, really put a lot of effort into it. So make sure you guys check it out in the eye and the description. But today's video is kind of along the same lines, but slightly different. I actually somehow thing that this might be even more challenging than last time because last time I painted on shoes for the very first time. I've never done something like that before. And this time I'm going to be painting on denim jackets that I have ordered from ASOS. Here I have three different denim jackets in three different colors and sizes. So I'm really excited to customize these for you guys and actually give them away at the end of this video. If you guys want to see how to enter and win one of these jackets once they're finished, then make sure you guys wait till the end of this video and watch the whole thing. But I guess without further ado, let's get on into the video. All right guys, so as part of this video, instead of just showing you what I'm doing, I'm also gonna kind of talk you through as to what I've learned and how to actually paint on denim jackets yourself. Just in case any of you guys wanna recreate this and do it yourself on your own denim jackets, I thought it might be kind of useful. So as you guys can see, the first thing I did is I've kind of pinned down my denim jacket onto some cardboard, which is underneath to kind of keep it all straight and smooth. As this is my first time actually painting on a denim jacket, I thought I might as well make my life a little bit easier and make it nice and smooth as my canvas. Underneath, I have some cardboard to make sure that the paint doesn't seep through onto the other side of the denim jacket because that would literally ruin everything. Now, the next thing I'm gonna talk you through is the paints. So as you guys can see, I have some acrylic paints right here. I actually didn't wanna use fabric paint just because I've already got experience using acrylic paints. I just thought using acrylics might be a little bit easier and it's also a medium that I already owned. So I thought, why not use these? These are from the brand Amsterdam. But to make the paints long lasting on the fabric and not crack after you've washed your denim jacket, you're gonna wanna use some fabric medium. So this is the heat set fabric painting medium from the brand GAC 900, I'm pretty sure. So I'm just gonna be mixing this into my acrylic paints on a one-to-one -one ratio and hopefully this will make them last a lot more and make them waterproof. I've then just got some toilet paper on the side to make sure that I always dry my paintbrush in between painting and washing my brush because you really don't want any of the water to be soaking into the denim jacket. I've then got a little pencil and some paintbrushes as well as some masking tape, which I will be using to kind of mask around the edge of this jacket. And that is pretty much it for my tools. Like I said, I am pretty nervous because I've never painted on denim before. I don't really know how it's gonna feel. I've painted on canvas, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna be much drier because you're not really meant to be using any water with it. Oh, and also I forgot to show you like the most important thing, the design. This is my inspiration that I have put together from an illustration I saw online. So I'm just basically gonna be doing something similar to this, maybe not exact, but I really, really love the illustration and also the text. So hopefully if all goes well, this is kind of how it's gonna look. So I guess, wish me luck. pretty happy with the skin tones. I've done a little bit of shading sort of like around the neck area and also the face and I am pretty happy with how this is turning out so far. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add all of the details onto the face such as the eyeliner, fill in the brows and also the lips and I'm so excited to see how this will look. This is where I'm currently at. 
I am just loving how this is turning out. I absolutely love the little like peach blush and the little lipstick. I think it's so cute. So I'm pretty sure I'm done now with like the skin, the face, all there is left to do really is the hair and also the symbols at the top. So let's get it done. and I have finally finished this first jacket. I am so pleased with how this turned out, so I'm gonna show you guys in a sec how it looks fully. But I've just gotta say, my back is absolutely killing me, and this is just the first jacket, and it's just because I've been like leaning over, crouching over this table, stood up, I'm in so much pain, but it's fine, because we finished. All right, so here it is. Here is the finished jacket. I just love this so much. I think she looks so pretty. I don't know who she is. Let's name her something. Comment down below what her name should be. But honestly, I just think this turned out really, really good. And for my first ever painting on denim, I've got to say, I'm pretty pleased. Also, if you guys are wondering what this means, it's basically Japanese for fall down seven times and get up eight. It's a Japanese proverb, and I think it's really, really nice and very motivational. So I thought I would pop it on there and this is the finished jacket. If you guys are wondering how this is gonna be waterproof and also washable, what you wanna do lastly is once the paint is completely dry and finished, what you wanna do is you wanna basically turn the jacket inside out and then you wanna take a cloth and then iron over your paint. This will basically just lock it into place because the heat will turn the paint into almost like plastic, I guess. So doing that will just make it washable and durable. So make sure you guys do that if you plan on doing this. Like I said, I'm really pleased with this first jacket. So let's move on to jacket number two. All right guys, so the next jacket is actually a white denim jacket. I went for a white one this time because I thought it would be a really nice canvas to kind of start off everything on top of. For this jacket, I'm going to be doing this sort of design that I've put together on Photoshop and as you guys can see, it is very colorful, very vibrant, so it's definitely going to add a lot of character to this very simple white jacket. As I've already painted one jacket, I feel like I kind of know what I'm doing this time around, but I am worried that I might run out of paint because the paints I have are not very big, so wish me luck. That's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fire sticky, come get high with me. That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Hey, coming down like precipitation. I ain't never met a limitation. Hate applying my elimination. Gotta go to Google for the information. I'm a superstar, so I gotta shine. Top dollar be the bottom line. Bottom feeding niggas out of line. Turn your heart rate to a dotted line. Yeah, my zodiac probably dollar sign. Got the energy to win it, my nigga, I'm feeling great. Got a date with destiny, focusing on my fate. I don't give a fuck what you rapping, you been a fake. I'm everything that they ain't. It can't be, it won't be. Wanna see me fall, I can't go, I won't leave. Coming from the block with plain clothes and police. Straight up to the top with bank rolls and rollies. Okay guys, so I am finally finished with the second jacket and I'm so excited because honestly, this is probably my favorite out of the two. And I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wanna keep this jacket for myself, but don't worry, I will be giving it away at the end. As you guys can see, this is the finished painting. I am just so in love with how this turned out. I even signed it right at the bottom. Now, as you guys can probably notice, I did go in with this white pen to kind of add a little bit more detail and highlights here and there. And I feel like it really brought the painting to life and I just 
just really, really love how it turned out. I have to say, I am pretty proud of myself right now because I was really worried that this painting in particular might be a little bit hard and a lot to take on, especially as my second try painting on denim. But actually, I feel like I did a pretty good job, so I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back and let's move on to jacket number three. Okay, and now for the very last jacket, I am gonna be painting some sunflowers on this blue wash denim jacket and I'm just obsessed with this color. The inspiration behind this jacket is this little jacket that I saw on Urban Outfitters Vintage Reclaimed. I just thought it was so cute and I love the sunflower painting. So that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing on this jacket. Starving now, I'm mean to my belly full. From up north, we get cold, you need a heavy coat. Scared to end up on a shirt before I send a foe. Devil on my back, target on me, deadly too. Play for keys, don't tweet. It's not peace, don't speak. 24, no sleep. This is real, no tweet. My bros for life, can't break this link. Family on my side, baby, stay around me. I don't want no combo, I want checks. I don't want the second, I want this. I'm all in my ass where I'm a wreck I've been moving like a hot mess I don't want no cabo, I want checks I don't want the second, I want best I'm all in my ass where I'm a wreck I've been moving like a hot mess Want that combo better know you need a check for me Okay, so I am finally finished with the very last jacket. I am so happy with how this turned out again This is what it looks like. Can you guys see all of the detail that I've added in with the black and the white marker? I feel like that's really completed it. Whew, so finally I am finished with the jackets and I'm so excited because now I get to give them away to you guys So stay tuned to see how to enter <laughs> time to let you know how to enter the giveaway to win one of these three jackets. I am so excited for three of you guys to get your hands on these and wear them. These do actually come in three different sizes so I feel like there's something for everyone and they are quite oversized. So the first jacket is this one. This is actually in size small. The second jacket is the leopard one and this one is in size medium. And lastly the sunflower jacket is a large one but all of these jackets are pretty oversized. I really wanted it to kind of be like you know easy to to just chuck on for anyone. You could probably get away with wearing this one if you're extra large because they are quite oversized. So if you guys wanna enter to win one of these jackets, then make sure you follow the rules. They're very simple. All you have to do is just be subscribed to this channel because the giveaway is for my subscribers. The next rule of the giveaway is just to go follow me on my social media. So just follow me on my Instagram at Roxoras. You guys will not regret it. And then lastly, all you have to do is just let me know in the comments below which one of these jackets you would like to win ideally. And also leave your social handle down below as well so I can contact you if you are the winner. Now this giveaway is actually open internationally so you guys can enter from all over the world and the giveaway winner will be announced in two weeks time so make sure you guys come back to this video so you can know who won and I will have it in the pinned comment down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and seeing me get a little bit creative, get a little bit artsy and also you guys get something out of it which I think is really cool. I just wanted to do it as a thank you because I really appreciate you guys being here and supporting me for all these years and hopefully I'll get to do this sort of thing more often for you guys because honestly, I really enjoy art. If you guys haven't seen that video where I customed shoes and then gave them away to you guys, then make sure you guys click the video in the eye and the description. But that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Mwah.